turn to that fallout from the shakeup at Pfizer. As we've been reporting, the world's largest drug maker parted ways with the CEO, Jeff Kindler, last weekend. Kindler didn't always see eye to eye with the Pfizer board. We've found that out. My next guest is Trevor Polischuk. He's an analyst at Orbimed Advisors, and Orbimed owns almost 9 million shares of Pfizer. And Trevor, uh, thanks for stopping by. Sure, Betty. When you heard about this news about Kindler stepping down, did you sell any shares? We didn't sell any shares. Uh, we were surprised by the timing of it, but ultimately not very surprised by the actual move, to be quite frank. Uh, right, okay, let's try to tackle those two points. Why okay. were you surprised by the timing? Well, uh, it, there was no obvious succession plan in place yet. Uh, Pfizer's entering sort of a new time in their period of history. Uh, and in my opinion, Mr. Kindler had done a great job up to this point, so surprised at the timing. Um, not surprised at the move because now where Pfizer is in their history, I think it is time for some new blood. You mm. mentioned some infighting with the board, et yes. cetera. I, cannot, I can't comment on that per se, but I think... Well, had you heard about it before? We'd heard about it and okay. speculated. It had been rumored back uh, during the Pfizer uh, acquisition days, to be honest. Um, you mean when it bought Wyeth? When it bought Wyeth, yes. Okay. That was in 08, I think it was, right? Uh, in 08. So yes. the rumor at that point was that Mr. Kindler might not be fully on board in making that acquisition, mm -hmm. uh, but the board wanted him to do it, uh, and he followed suit. But in hindsight, I think it was a great move. It, I think Mr. Kindler doesn't get enough credit for all the heavy lifting that he did. If you recall, when he, just shortly after he was named CEO, mm -hmm. Pfizer had a catastrophic pipeline failure mm -hmm. when a drug called Torcetrapib was suddenly shut down in clinical trials because it wasn't working. Mm. This drug was super important to Pfizer's future because it was supposed to replace Lipitor. They were developing it with Lipitor, and this was a drug that increased your good cholesterol. So if you combine it with Lipitor, which reduced your bad cholesterol, add this new drug, it would have easily eclipsed the $13 billion in sales that Lipitor That they would have lost, right. right. Um, so, okay, so give, given all of that then, Trevor, um, you know, are you... Unhappy, though, with the moves that the board has made, though, that they've let Kindler go or Kindler walked out. I mean, doesn't that make you more doesn't that make you more unsure about where the company's headed? No, uh, in fact, the opposite. I'm a little bit more bullish, and I'll tell you why. Mr. Kindler did all the heavy lifting. He cut the sales force. He cut most of the fat. He did the big Wyeth acquisition. Now the company is moving. Now the focus is on the pipeline and operational excellence. And this is where Ian Reid, the new CEO, has decades of experience at Pfizer uh, across the globe and multiple Pfizer divisions. He's a marketing guy. He's a sales guy. Mr. Kindler was a lawyer. Mm -hmm. So I think for this sort of part of their life cycle management for Pfizer, Ian Reid is the perfect person to lead the organization going forward. But the stock, some have said, the stock is, is almost in a secular decline. Right. In an industry that is also declining secularly. Right. Um, how is a new CEO going to add any value? Well, I think two things. One, I think he needs to promote the pipeline better. Pfizer's pipeline, I think, is massively underappreciated, and the share price reflects almost no value for the pipeline today. They have a drug for rheumatoid arthritis. Big deal. Well, it's a huge deal because their drug is oral and works as, as good as the injectable biologics, which is a 15 billion market today. You can, if you can take that drug and put it in oral therapy, I think that's huge. They have a massive cardiovascular drug in phase three development. Right. But, 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 but Trevor, would you agree though that that, that the stock though has been in a, in a decline for years? Right. No matter how many drugs are coming out. Right. Well, I mean, this is where I think Pfizer and the rest of the industry has been uh, facing a dearth of new products. The patent cliff, which is coming in the next couple of years, is already here for some companies, but hits big time in 2012. I think people uh, are very aware of what's going on in the industry and the macro headwinds. Pfizer has, has felt that pressure just like their peer group has. Yes. But if they can launch new products, enter a new product cycle, the stock will be rewarded. That will be key.